Hey guys, it's BW and we're back out in the garage. In this episode, we're going to fix the heater control that we got off of Jay. It has a broken arm and we're going to try to polish up the front piece a little bit and I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So let's take a look at what we got here, okay? Alright, so first of all, you guys can see my arm, the arm on this one is broken, broken off and it's missing the uh, black knob for it, alright? So we want to get the uh, plate off because obviously it's got some pitting. We're going to clean it up the best we can. The glass is dirty. We're going to clean that up the best we can. We have a new set of knobs, all right, so we can replace the two knobs on the bottom and we'll reuse these ones here. We'll just clean them up. We'll see how far we can get. I think the first thing I want to do is take the cover off. Excuse me, I want to take the knobs off and then the cover. So let's go ahead and work on getting this pin out so we can see. I don't think any of the wiring's in our way for the switch or the light. It looks like the light bulb's not burned out, so I'm going to leave it for now. But should I need it, you guys can see the cover comes straight off, piece of cake. I'll probably put a new one in when we wire the car. It's a GE53, I'll order some. I'll just take it out of the switch for now, or out of the bulb for now, so that we don't break the filament when we're working to get this pin out. It's going to be a little bit of a chore, but we'll get it. I feel like I just want to grab a socket, I think. Something bigger than that to set up here. You almost need five sets of hands for this, but I think that this pin, you should be able to drive it down. Put the pit, put the that over the that like that. Down up there. Oh, <laughs> I I may have to go over and put this in the vise.
All right, the pin come out fairly easily. So let's uh, move right back over to the area where it's easier to see. All right, well we got the pin almost out. Should move really easily now. All right, we got the spring. It's in between the two, in between the two arms. So we took our pin out. It should just come right up out of there. There it is. And it's out. All right, we'll hold on to this one, but we're gonna put go ahead and put the two new ones on. All right. Just clean my pin off real quick. Just gonna put a little bit of lithium grease on there just to lube it up, all right? That way it'll be ready when it goes back in. I think what I wanna do is I wanna use the pin to hold this one. And I got a drift pin on this side to kinda of hold this one in place. Just, just kinda of grab it a little bit. I'm going to take my pliers I'm going to squeeze the spring but leave a couple on the edge here. Okay, hold that for a second, put this back together. Just kind of have it sticking out a tiny bit. Compress the spring and get one side on there, I think. Not quite yet. Let's try that again. That looks like it's going to work. It's just a little bit of a, it's a little cumbersome. Right. There we are. Grab the spring the best I can and just kind of scrunch it down. Got one side started. I just can cut get this thing. Just kind of put it in place there. Looks like we got it. You guys have a look. All right. Okay, so we've got the spring down in there, and that's how we got it going. Now I just got to get it through and into this one, and then the pin is just a little bit of an interference fit over here, and it kind of holds things together, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, you got your new things for your cable. Springs back in. Appears to be pretty good. Everything moves smoothly. So uh, let's see what we got.
All right, guys, there you go. It's all cleaned up. I have to get a screw. Like I said, I, I just put the old knob back on for now. I gotta get a new screw and then we'll put the new knobs on. Let's take a look at what it looks like inside the car. All right, guys, well, that's where it goes. In the car, looks really good. At some point, you know, we'll look at maybe getting a new cover because this one's pitted pretty good. But we're going to roll with what we have for right now, all right? But we're definitely going to look at getting a new one to match our new bezels at some point. But it looks really sharp in there, all right? The glass is all cleaned up. A little bit of Simple Green did a good job. And all we need is one little screw for the knob, all right? So that's one more job tackled here at BW's Garage.